Hello, biologists. This is Greg Kowalki. I teach biology at Cleveland High School. I want to welcome you to the last lesson of the inheritance unit. And this is a really important one. In this lesson, you are going to self-assess your learning over the unit. Before we begin, though, I want to show you the slide on how to use this PowerPoint. Um, you've seen this one before. I'm not going to read it through entirely, but remember, your health and your family come first. So self-assessing is an important part of your learning, and you should really do this often. You should do it at the beginning of the unit, and as you move through the unit, if you notice most of these PowerPoints have a slide at the end that say, check your understanding. When you see those, you should go through each and every one of those and say, do I understand this? Can I teach this to somebody else? What more do I need to learn to, be, uh, to understand this content? That's a self-assessment but we're gonna do one for the entire unit today, okay? I just wanna tell you a little bit more about why self-assessment is important. When you self-assess, whenever you think about what you've learned, how well you understand it, and where you came from, it gives you a lot of benefits as far as your learning and understanding how you learn. A self-assessment allows you to check your understanding. That's the first important part. No one really knows how much you understand, how much you've learned, how far you've come better than you do. Not your teacher, not your friends, not your parents. You know what you understand and what you know. It allows you to show how much you've grown. You get to look back and say, that's something I didn't know before I started. That's something I did, but I understand it better. It's really neat to know how well you have grown, what you've learned along the way while you've gone through school. It really helps. It also allows you to identify where you don't understand things. What is the contents that you may need to review or that you really kind of, you need to find your teacher or ask a friend to help you understand, to explain it to you. It tells you specifically where those holes in your understanding are. And lastly, it helps you understand how you learn personally. What worked? Which lessons were good for you? What didn't work? What did you do and you were still confused at the end of it? This allows you to really think about like, wh whenever you're looking for more help, what kind of things help? This allows you to tell your teacher, you know, I really need to have more hands-on stuff to be able to understand this. All of these readings are not quite helping me. You'll know that about yourself and therefore you'll be able to be a better learner as you move forward. So let's look at the self-assessment sheet that your teacher has given you either as a hard copy or electronically. Uh, if you have, don't have this as a hard copy, grab a scrap sheet of paper and write down your ratings for each one of these standards and think about your notes and comments about how you've grown. Okay, but you wanna go through all of these and you wanna rate yourself along the way. We're gonna give you a zero to four scale with zero meaning, I don't understand this. I don't even understand the words of the standards here. One, you can do this, but you need your teacher or your friend next to you helping you understand what's going on. Two, I can kind of do this. Uh, I still need some questions answered. I still need some growth, but I'm starting to get it. Three is, I can do this with almost no mistakes. I think I got this. I think we can move on. And four is, I know this well enough to teach it to somebody else. I'm helping my friends understand it and helping my friends get to four. Okay, so these are the scale. You wanna be at a three or a four. If you're not at a three or a four or one or a two, you need to go back and review the lessons, watch these videos again, ask your friend to help explain it to you, ask your teacher. Okay, so let's go through one or two of these together just to show you how to do it. So the first one, I can describe how a complex organism is organized by the same type of cells that make tissues. So tissue is differentiated cells. Tissues together make up organs and organs work together to make an organ system. Organ systems, of course, work together to make complex multicellular organisms. Thinking about that, do you understand that? Do you understand it well? Can you teach people about this? Could you go to your younger brother and explain it to him? Where are you? Zero through four, where do you understand this? Let's do one more. I can describe the, how organ systems work together to maintain a complex organism. Zero through four, did this unit 
help you understand that better. Or it's just as good to say, you know what, I had a pretty good idea to begin with. It's helped me, but not as much. I understand this. I'm started at a three and now I'm at a four. So go through all of these standards and rate yourself. Lastly, at the bottom, it says notes, comments. This is a place for you really to think about how much have you changed? Think about the things that you have to go back and review. And most importantly, I think, what worked and what didn't? Which lessons really helped you learn? Which lessons did you just go through the worksheet and fill in what you're supposed to and didn't quite understand? We'll figure out what works well for you in your learning and you will learn better as you move forward through your education and through life. All right, thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this unit. I enjoyed making the videos and I enjoyed working with you along the way. Be safe, be well, wash your hands.